In this video, we're going to go over the process to add a new event bucket. To start, open the menu and navigate to the events page. Once there, click the search button to load the data. Once it's loaded, the histogram will show the data for the selected range of time. We're going to create an event bucket using a query. Type a query into the search bar. In this case, we're using at sender.office365 to get Office 365 events. Once the Office 365 data is loaded, scroll down to the table to view all the individual events. Click the expand arrow to open the full JSON table for the event. These are all the fields associated with this event. Select the desired field from the table. In this case, we're choosing user ID. Once the row is highlighted, three buttons appear on the right. The eye and crossed out eye are used to include or exclude the field from the facet. We're going to click the last button, the histogram, to redirect us to the event watch configuration page. On this page, you can see that a few fields are already populated. The event type is set as event. If you click on the drop down menu, you can see the other options MetaFlow, because event buckets can also be configured from the flows page in this way. The query and group by field boxes have the query and group by that we selected on the events page. Now we can go through and fill out the rest of the fields. Start by giving the bucket a name and description. In this case, we'll call it Office 365 Events by User and make the description Office 365 Events slash Operations by User ID. The bucket name can't contain spaces, so we're going to make it one string. Next, add a bucket category. This one has the category Office 365. Then we need to add an aggregation. This is where we choose what data will be displayed by our event bucket. We want to see the number of events coming from each user ID, which is a count type of aggregation. Give the aggregation a name, like event count. Count is the default type, so click Add. Signals will be discussed in another video. Once you're done adding everything you want to add to this bucket, click the histogram button to test it. This will generate a histogram for the bucket as it is currently defined using data from the events page to populate the graph. Use this to make sure the desired data is being displayed. Note that although the histogram button pulls data from the event page to test, data collection for this new bucket only begins after the save button is clicked, so it will take time for the graph to populate on the event watch page. If the bucket looks correct, click save which will take you back to the events page. Click the menu to navigate to the event watch page. If we scroll down, we can see our new bucket is on the sidebar. Click the bucket to view the histogram. Once new events are present, they will appear on the graph. Event buckets can also be created using a facet to match instead of a query.